Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you my November boxy charm. It actually showed up one time this time, not like my September one. Let me readjust. So we're going to get right into it and see what we got. I don't remember the things I may have chosen, if I even chose anything, because September and October have been crazy and November has just been a, the beginning of November has already, um, has been a very hard time for me at, um, in my family, um, uh, at the, yeah, at the passing of my aunt, um, she surely is going to be missed. She was one of a kind. She was a wonderful woman, but I'm just going to get right into this so I don't start getting upset. And, um, we're just going to get into the boxy charm. So just like I said, November's been a hard month. So if there's like no uploads or anything in November or even December, just know I'm struggling a little bit and, um, I just need some time to myself and, um, because my aunt was like a mom. So, like a second mom. So, it's been very rough on everybody. So, I'm going to get right into this. And, um, that, yeah, that's it. So, we have here the base box. So, let's see what we have in here. I should have brought my glasses up seriously because I tried to read this um, already. <coughs> and I couldn't really read anything. So, first we have Item Beauty by Addison Ray, And it is the In My Element Eyeshadow Palette. And it is, this packaging is gorgeous. My nose is running now. Wonderful. When doesn't it run when I'm on here? Like, at all. So, this is the foiled packaging. And I'm going to tell you, I love these colors. They're very, I'm going to stay back here with the colors. Because seriously, if I go up closer, the ring light washes them out. Washes out the colors, so... And um, if I stay back here, this is more true to what the color is, like when I'm right here, than if I come up here. If I come up here, it does, it, I mean, it kind of washes it out. So I'm going to start showing the eyeshadows back here, but it's a pretty neutral eyeshadow palette, and I'm not mad at this one at all, so I'll have to play around with that. That's actually a really nice eyeshadow palette to take traveling because it's small and it's got shimmers, it's got mattes in good amount. And that is $24, reasonable. Next we have the Soleil Hair Tools Mini Heat Brush. So, this is it here. It's cute packaging on the outside. We're gonna go right into here, see what it looks like. And it's this little tiny orange heated brush. I mean, my hair is thin. The br bristles are hard. Like, they don't even move at all. It's like, I don't know. So, I'm going to have to play around with this and see how this works. So, I'll let you guys know. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows. But, I would not buy this on its own ever. Ever, ever, ever. When this thing costs $150 for this little tool. Why is it so expensive? Like, seriously? $150? No. Alright, next we have... Is it TYNT? Revel Spa Water Gel Mask. And this is the pretty packaging here. And it's a mask, and obviously I'm not going to be opening it. Oh, that's a pretty packaging, though. The blue and the peachy little lid, but... And, of course, it should have a safety seal. And it does. Perfect. Don't mind a little bit of extra skin care. And that is $28. Next, we have Luna Magic Beauty. And it's Lush and Plush Hydrating Lip Balm. These are $16. And it is a new launch. And that's the packaging. So, we have... What did I say the flavors are? I didn't. Did I? No, I didn't. Let me see. What are they saying? I'm trying to say. Either which way, the flavors are. I know I've seen them. It says it clearly mango and cherry. And these are the little. 
my gosh, my fingers are just not working. And that's them right there. They smell good. I have tried, already smelled them. It smells delicious. Let me smell this cherry one. I only smelled the mango one. Ooh. I like little lip balms. Throw them in my bag. Especially in the summertime. I don't really like to wear full on lip, lipstick like this. And first of all, when the pandemic was going on, who was wearing lipstick? So, um, lip glosses work for me. So, that is amazing. Love it. Next and last thing we have in this box is Ciate London Velvet Lip Pencil. And it is $18. And it is a new launch. And let's get in here. Long lasting formula. Oh, there it is. It's the violet lip, um, lip liner is what it's called. Let me see. Why can't I get in to the stupid thing? And what is the color? I know I see it on here. Yeah, I'm not seeing the color. I don't know why I can't see the color. But either which way. This is what the pencil is. And that's a pretty color right there. I like it. It's pretty. That was the base box there. Moving on to the premium box. Let's see what we got. Alright. Oh, I even forgot to show you guys what the card looked like. It says BoxyCharm. It's... Huh? It's giving giftable glam. There, that's what it says. All right, we're going to hop right into this one. We have the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. There it is, a pretty little packaging. Let's see what the jar looks like. If I can get in here, nothing wants me to go in. I swear I feel like I have this. And that's the packaging right there. Blah, blah, and that is $76. Why is she so expensive? So expensive. Next, we have Iconic London Precision... Uh, Precision Duo Contour Pots. And this is the packaging here. So one is a cream and one is a powder. And we have, what is it, tan shadow? Is what it's called. This top one is the powder. Right there. Right there. And then the bottom is a cream. So I will swatch the cream. Did it even do anything? Oh, okay. So when the cream, it feels like a cream when you go in here. But then when you go to put it on your skin, it's like a powder. It really, it didn't feel like a cream. Like what creamy blushes and stuff would feel like. Weird. Let's go into the powder. Oh, that's a pretty color. Okay, I don't know if you can. That's the powder and that's the cream color. So one looks like it's more of a bronzer and the other one's like more of a contour because one looks more warm tone and the other one looks more cool tone. But I'm not mad. To be honest with you, what's weird is that the cream one feels more powdery than the powdered one. Odd. Odd, odd. Oh, but anyway, I like that. It's actually really nice. I would use it, definitely. And that is $23. Next, we have Skin Ink, and it is Sculpt Lip lip <laughs> it's not lip lift bar I don't know really what I'm supposed to do with it I know it massages and it's like a vibrator but it's for your face I guess so I don't know this thing is $125 uh, and this is what it looks like I mean I don't know I mean what am I to do with it like I'm going to have to do research on really what to do with this because I have a multiple ones that I keep getting in BoxyCharm that I don't know really what I'm supposed to do with the stupid thing. Like, it vibrates, but what am I to do with it on my face? Like, am I supposed to have, like, a serum on my face, an oil on my face? What am I supposed to do? Because when I, I did try it out because I wanted I, to tell you how to use this. But I couldn't figure it out because I did have oil on my face. And the thing didn't want to slip and slide. 
So I don't know if it was supposed to like move around or if I'm just supposed to hold it in different spots or what I'm supposed to do. But I'm going to have to like do homework on a face tool. But I wouldn't pay $125 for a face tool. Just give me a lotion and just use a jade roller. Um, whatever. Moving on, we're going to go to Complex Contour. And it is Executive Level Mascara. Nope, I will not be using it. I don't use non-waterproof mascara. So I will not be opening this up. And it is, what did I say? I didn't say. It's $28, did I? If I didn't, I did. Now, it's $28. Like I said, I really need to go through all my mascaras that I have never used. Especially the ones that are not waterproof. And just freaking start either reselling them or giving them away. I gotta do something. To the people I know. Like, seriously, because... I'm not doing giveaways on here. I'm not that big of a big of a YouTuber yet to do any of that kind of stuff. But anyway, moving on, we have Pop Mask Sleep Over Rose Scented Self Warming Sleep Mask. I'll probably get rid of this. I won't put this on my face. It's first of all, it's rose scented. I don't want rose scented, and I'm not leaving a mask on my face overnight. Like, and it's warm. I mean, it says it can help relieve migraines and tension headaches. But, I mean, I may keep that because I do suffer from a lot of detention headaches and migraines. But I don't think I'd sleep in it. I might just, like, use it, lay in bed for a little bit before I actually go to sleep, sleep. Take it off. But we'll see. I don't know. Never heard of it. $20, so whatever. Next, we have St. Lux, and it is the Morgan Knight and Carnelian Gel Lip Liner. So, this is $30, and it's a new launch. Let's take a look at the colors. This is the packaging, St. Lux. Those are the two colors that we have. This one is probably is Morgan Knight. All right, let's find a spot. This one's Morganite. Oh, my God. Oh, I just messed it up. No. Oh, look what I did. I broke it. I broke it. No. That's why I like retractable ones. Anyway, that, oh, my God. You know what? I really am horrible at swatching. There. That's the Morganite one. And this one is the Carnalian one, whatever. It's a bright, it's like a pinky color. Pinky red. It's like a pinky red. Hot pink red. Alright, I think my camera really hates me today because the last video I just filmed, my memory card filled up and with this one, the battery crapped out on me. So, um, I was ending it with the lip duo and showing you the colors and that was it died right before I could do the ending of this video so if you like the video give it a thumbs up comment down below what you got in your BoxyCharm if you tried any of this stuff in that I did receive in BoxyCharm let me know how you like it if you didn't like it if you're new here don't forget to subscribe before you leave and until I see you all again have a great day thanks bye